so excited. Where is she? I've put some sausages on her already. It's a nice day as well, a nice day for riding. I just got here on the back of my Honda because Phil's bike's broken. This is funny because my first time ever on a CBR 600RR was riding pillion on one. And now my last time ever on my bike is me riding pillion on it in that suite. Which one's mine? Where is she? I don't think they've got her outside. I think she's inside. And we are ready to go. Ready to rock. I'm so, so excited right now. We've got loads of people with us too. Excellent, excellent turnout. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, it's so much lighter than the CBR. Oh, actually, let's just check. Does it want to go into neutral? Neutral, excellent. Hi. <laughs> it says one, it says one on the Odo. I thought it would say zero. Is that from people wheeling it about? <laughs> I completely forgot to do my mirrors. We're going, we're on the new bike. I wonder how much you can see behind. Uh, probably not much. Let's turn around. Woo. We're probably like a group. I'm going to estimate 15, maybe 15 people. That's pretty damn good, isn't it? And a lady, a lady came. So because she's brand new, I've got to like keep varying the revs. Uh, what else did he say? I've got to keep shifting a lot and just basically test her out and have a good time, <laughs> but not, not go too high revs at the start. I know everyone's been talking about doing this whole, uh, do the hard break-in thing, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just too scared of doing that. I mean, she's, she's all new. It's a new engine, new tires, new brakes, new everything. And I think doing the hard break in, maybe not. Oh, now I can do my mirror. <laughs> she smells like new plastics. Oh, two, two on the Odo. Phil is doing an excellent job of keeping everyone together. He's such a good leader. Ah, oh, it's quite nice that the first video that this bike's in, my bike will be in too, will it, in front? Oh, mm, brakes aren't too good at the moment, I've got to say. They need bedding in, I think. Well, it doesn't look too bad on the Honda, does it? No! He needs different coloured leathers. Oh, yeah. Mm. She smells new. Yeah, She's got yeah, that. I thought so. Yeah. Oh, that smells like a new one. <laughs> so, like, the new car smell is, like, that's a thing, isn't it, new car smell? Apparently there's new bike smell as well, I didn't know that. It sort of smells a bit like plastics burning. <laughs> so today we're going to be riding out to a little lake and having some sausage to introduce the new sausage bike to the team. I'm just so pleased that loads of people have turned out for our first ride. This is... Oh yeah, we're doing the first tanking. Woo! Gear zero. <laughs> ah. Ah, I hate these things. Oh no! Is there a tissue anywhere? I'm making a right mess of this. But that takes like nothing. Thank you. Yeah? yeah? Yay! And the other two? There's two more. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any clues. Oh, my bag's like in the middle of nowhere. Are they visible though? They are visible, they're not invisible sausages. Yeah, well, so I do not have to take anything off like this. No, no. I did, yes. I just on it already. And people? Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, bikes and people. Uh, woman brain, I think. Yeah, woman brain, yeah. exactly. I'm really hot right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, brakes are getting better. I think they're bedding in. Three. No, three. 
many autos. <laughs> oh, a new bike. Oh. When I said that I was getting an RC390 in, in one of my last videos, everyone's like, mm, it's not really a Tory bike, is it? I don't think any bike is not a Tory bike, to be honest. If you're comfortable on a motorbike, then you can go 200, 300 miles. It doesn't really matter what the bike is. Like, some people go on tours around Europe on 125s, and I don't see any problem with that. If you're comfortable and you're going a, an okay speed for how far you want to go each day, what's the problem? What is the problem? Any bike can be a Tory bike. My last choice of bike was a bit of a weird choice of bike as well, wasn't it really? Because I had a CBR 600 rr that I used to commute to work every day. That was my commutey bike. And it did very well at that job. Even though everyone was like, well, it's not really a commutey bike, is it? Well, again, any bike can be a commutey bike. All you have to do is ride it to work and back every day. And I thought the CBR was perfect for that because it was it's easy to get through traffic because it was slim and very stable. And it was great for blasting to work for half an hour. So yeah, the, the CBR was perfect for the job that I had it for. And now I reckon this will be perfect for the job of doing long journeys because I feel so comfortable on it. Oh, a fan. Hey, my fans, come on. That's really loud, isn't it? Can you hear that? Mmm, burny plastic. Do some gentle knobbing. She feels so good. I mean, like the balance of the bike. It's one of the best things about this bike. Hey, I can see traffic lights better. Yeah, I'm at the front and I can I can actually see the red light now. Woo! That just shows really how different the seating position is on this bike compared to the CBR. This is much more sat up and relaxed. Much less sporty position. I've got so much more room for my leggies. Luckily, she does have some tools under the seat, so when we get to this lake, I can do up all the bolts again. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, I'm just joking. Because it's quite a vibrate bike. If a few of the nuts and bolts aren't tightened to the correct level, then <laughs> they do come loose. Uh, quite easily compared to like my CBR. Although my CBR is quite a wibbly wobbly vibrate bike anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's Katie. It's Katie the KTM. Reborn. Who's this dude? You're not with us, are you? With your jeans and your trainers. You're not a serious motorbiker list. Oh yeah, I've got to remember to vary the revs and this means going <laughs> every now and again. Dick face. Old lady dick face. I quite like the sounds she makes. I'm pretty sure the one that I took out for a test ride was a little bit louder than this. Maybe it's just because I'm being really gentle with this one. And the one that I took out for the test ride was just like, Pfft. sounds bad, doesn't it? I feel sorry for that bike. What is Phil looking for? I think he's making sure everyone gets through the lights. Okay. I forget that he's a good leader, don't I? I forget that I'm just whittling on about rubbish and he's out front actually doing a job. Oh, I'm a bit sweaty now. I think I wore too many layers today. I mean, we've been pretty lucky with the weather here for our ride out, to be honest. The rest of the week has been all rainy and cold. And this is the first day where it's actually really nice. Ah, oh, new tyres. I hate having new tyres. You never know how much to lean on them, do you? Okay, I'm in sick gear. First time sick gear. Ah, oh, this is the trouble with picking up a bike in Munich. You have to get out of Munich to be able to experience the nice roads. Are we going to get overtaken by scooters? We are literally going to be overtaken by scooters. There they are. We're getting overtaken by scooters. <laughs> you know when tyres are new and they've got like shiny appearance? And you just think, they don't look like they're going to grip at all. That's what these look like. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> oh, what's this guy? Are we going to overtake someone? Yay. The first overtake. Maybe not. The car in front looks like it's shitting its pants. Oh, there we go. He stopped shitting his pants. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad my first overtake is overtaking someone really smiley. Oh, woman brain. Oh, we have the first flies to hit the windscreen as well. Thanks, flies. Christening it with your juices. First of many. Something fell off my bike then, didn't it? Ah, oh, it was an ear. One of my ears fell off. Bagger. I've lost the lamb ear. <laughs> First ride and I've lost him. Oh well. I've got one. I can keep one as a souvenir. I think it's because I put my arm up because I wanted to check that my, my, uh, my microphone was plugged in. I love that this thing's got a gear indicator. It's really useful. 
Oh, this is pretty. Oh, pretty. Pretty river. And the rape. Look at all the rape. Oh, I love the smell of rape. <laughs> it's so bad. What's this? Baron Mid Midhem. Ah, oh, with your brain. <laughs> That's a good idea. If you leave that at home, you're pretty screwed, aren't you? Wakey breaks. Yeah, breaks are slowly getting better. Such a beautiful time of year, isn't it? Beautiful time of year. I'm on a beautiful orange bike. I'm just so happy right now. And it's not, I don't think I'm happy because, you know, I like buying stuff. I'm happy because this bike is such a cool little bike and it's such fun to ride. And that makes me happy. I mean, I don't regret having the CBR at all because it was absolutely perfect for what I wanted it to do. And you know, now I have a bike with a littler engine that's easier to get to. I'm hoping that I can uh, do a bit more garagey stuff on it, or at least learn how to do some garagey stuff on it. Because it's, I'm hoping it's going to be an easier little engine to work on for me. It's certainly easier to take the panels off this bike, my God. I saw someone do it on the internet. It looks well easy. I mean, the Honda's got lots of little bits that you have to click together, and this one doesn't look like that. This one just looks like you take the bolts off. And there you go, the fairing's just like, it comes off. You don't need to do any fiddly little plasticky horribleness, which is great. Oh, this road's nice, isn't it? Cute little road. Oh, there's a baby donkey. Oh, baby, baby donkey. I don't think I've ever seen a baby donkey before. It's one of the cutest things ever. Oh, I feel bad. There's lots of people looking very somber around a grave. Sorry, guys, ruined your funeral with our bikey loudness. I'm gonna pretend in my head that there was a biker that died. Maybe he'd quite like that. Yeah, I can hear it a bit better now. It sounds, sounds nicer now. Woo! Skipping back to the hard breaking thing. I have now done, what's it, 45 kilometers. And Jake the Snake recommended in the first, you know, 45 kilometers, you know, really going hard and yeah, making everything really tight, tight seals or something, I think he said. And I haven't done that, but he also said in the same video that if you don't do that, it's not that much of a big problem because in the factory, they've already done it for you. They've already worked the engine really hard in the first few moments. Of, they like test it, they test it out. And at KTM, I think he said that they do it twice even, like once with the engine by itself before they even put it in a bike. And then they test it again once it's in a bike. And in doing that, they rev the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, in the first few moments of the engine being alive, of being put together, of being made, it gets ragged. Oh, here's a lake. This is this might be the lake, you know. You're one here. I know. <laughs> I'm all lopsided now. You running all right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, really good. Do you fancy going for a swim, Molly? I doubt we would fit. Actually. We could try it. Ah, oh, that was a really nice meetup. Thank you everybody for coming along. Had some white sausage. They didn't really have much choice for sausage, to be honest. I think it was a, a bad sausage location, but pretty. With some not bad roads around here, it seems. So we're just going to go and explore a few of them before going home. I don't want to go home yet. Ooh. Hear that? Bells is. Yeah, I want to explore my bike a bit more before going home, because I haven't done much of that either. First 47 kilometers, and that's it. We were talking about how old people's bikes were. Ollie, not his real name, said that his bike is 18 years old. And how old is my bike? Today. It's today. That's an age. Today. I just find this bike so goddamn comfortable and nice. It's so nice to change gear on. The clutch is really light because it's a slipper clutch. There's an egg hut. Brilliant. I buy eggs there from a vending machine. Don't get that in England. Missing out England. <laughs> Missing out on the egg vending machines. Oh, pretty out. Hi Alps! Bike, you've seen the Alps! Yay, corners! Oh, the engine braking downhill is lovely. Oh, it's just perfect. Oh, I'm in heaven. God, I'm kind of thirsty again. Maybe I should have had more water. Oh, I should have put my handlebar thing on as well, shouldn't I? Oh well. Oh, well, you forget these things when you're talking to people. What the hell? What's wrong with you? Is this the same lake or is this a different lake? It's so warm today that that water just looks so tempting. Not in my leathers. I'll take them off first. I need to start wearing a bikini under my leathers and then I can just go in lakes when we go to lakes. I'm sure no one would mind. It's so annoying not being able to taste the power yet because we can't bring her up higher in the rev range than about seven. Oh, old bike. I really want to. I've got to be good. Yeah, it's now my mission to get 1,000 
kilometres on this bike and get the first service done before the sausage fest because we want to ride to the sausage fest and that is in like one month and a few days I think I can do that it might mean that I've got to ride it to work but then I've got to go to work and not get lost haven't I that's quite important Ooh. I wore my winter gloves today that was a big mistake wouldn't it should have worn my summer ones boiling so I guess I could talk about a few of the mods that I want to do on a bike couldn't I I was thinking of maybe putting a new exhaust on it I found one already that I really like the look of and the sound of on the videos so that is a possibility and it wasn't too expensive for like a full system it was about 350 euros I don't think that's that bad and there was a lady at the meetup that we were just at and she had a green chain on her Kawasaki white bike it looked amazing this bright green chain the green chain kind of looked awesome on her bike so I'm thinking maybe an orange chain on this one when I need to get a new chain next I like the mirrors I'm not going to change the mirrors they got um, integrated indicators that's hard to say isn't it integrated indicators integrated indicators on them I think they look pretty nice yeah and when I need new tyres uh, I've read that the I think it's Bridgestone S20s or some sort of S20s can't even remember if they're Bridgestone or not Apparently they're really good for this bike. Oh, that was a nice test of the brakes. Woo! And stickers. Uh, yeah, the stickers on the side of this bike, kind of boring. Might change them up a bit. I'm either gonna do my own sort of stickers or get the racing set, I'm not sure. Yeah, I wanna make the bike look a bit different. Yeah, the exhaust I want is called a Miv Ghibli? Ghibli, something? You know on Moto3, there's the KTM bikes on Moto3 and they've got those little pipes that come out oh i got i think i've got to put a picture i can't describe it they just look so pretty it would suit this bike really well having one of them on on moto 3 i think they've got two like one each side but on this bike it would just be the one i mean to be honest i still can't believe what a bloody bargain this bike was because it's the 2016 version they're selling them off really cheap right now i mean i wouldn't usually buy a new bike because as soon as you ride them they lose so much value but because they were selling this one so cheap it was as cheap as the ones that we used anyway so you know might as well wow turning a circle is so small <laughs> that was awesome cool old car wow yeah, it does look like a nice place <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. My fan is quite loud. Some people think that it doesn't do enough blowiness and then they add an aftermarket fan. I think the fan seems to be okay though. I could feel it blowing the hot air onto my leg. I really like that noise. Can you hear that? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I'm still not sure on the exhaust. I quite like the note of this exhaust, but it could be louder and less, less and more <laughs> I think what I mean is less air noise and more engine noise if that makes sense it's testing the suspension oh my old bike is so pretty she's so pretty oh this fan's done its job and it's gone off now <laughs> she got flies on her 100 odo 100 odos